If you want to know how to fix something went wrong problem on Spotify, you've come to the right place. So the steps are quite simple, but make sure to watch this video till the very end so you won't make any mistakes. You won't be able to use Spotify like this. So as you can see, I successfully fixed this problem and I show you all the ways I did to fix it. Basically, you can try to reopen the app. So just simply close and try to reopen. Probably your problem will be automatically solved. But if it's like not that easy, you need to open App Store or Google Play and then just simply search for Spotify. So if you have like not the latest version, you won't be able to use Spotify sometimes, you won't be able to use some features or even open Spotify. So download the latest version so from this page here, search for Spotify. If you have like open, it's okay. If you have like update or upgrade, so download the latest version. And the next thing you need to check is that you need to open your settings on the iPhone. It looks like this on the Android. It may look a little bit different. And here scroll down to find a Spotify. So we need to check some parameters. Uh, basically, make sure that uh, background app refresh feature is turned on. And also Spotify has access to local network, camera and media and Apple Music on the iPhone. So in this case, you can try to open it. Probably it will be fixed. But uh, the hardest way of how can you try to fix it is that you need to go to general, then go to iPhone storage. And after that, just simply um, wait until everything will be uploaded. It may take a little time. We need to manage some Spotify uh, like stuff related with storage parameters because it could be like backed or something like this. So you'll have this problem immediately. And basically, we need to find a Spotify among all the, all the apps right up here. So uh, find a Spotify and basically we need to open this page and here click on a flawed app. So as you can see, offloading will delete the app, but keep its documents and data. So that's what we need. Delete it and then just simply instead of offload, you'll receive button to reinstall. So uh, after that, you need to reinstall the app and then you can easily open and your problem will be automatically solved. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.